A wallet address, which is also known as a public key, is a randomly generated string of letters and numbers which is connected to a blockchain wallet. You can use this to receive cryptocurrencies and NFTs. In real life, a wallet address is like a bank account number. Take for example, if John wants to send money to his girlfriend Mary, John will ask for Mary's account details, right? Which must comprise of Mary's bank and account number. On the same light, if John wants to send like one BTC to Mary, he will ask Mary for his wallet address and his wallet network or blockchain name. So on this light, bank account number equals to wallet address, bank name equals to wallet network or wallet blockchain name. Okay, now by the end of this video, you will be able to know how to find your wallet address on Binance, which is the world largest crypto exchange market, be it BTC wallet, Ethereum wallet, Litecoin wallet, and any other cryptocurrency you can ever think of. This video will teach you how you can find your wallet so that you can receive any cryptocurrency or NFT from all over the world. Without wasting much of your time, let's get down to business. Alright guys, for this video, I will use Binance mobile application for Android. But everything I will teach in this tutorial will work very well on Binance web fashion, iPhone, PC and Mac OS. All you need to do is to pay attention. So after downloading your mobile application, then go ahead and launch it. And when you launch it, your phone will look like this. Okay. So observe that currently the home tab is active. Okay. So if you want to view your wallet address, you click on wallets, you click on what deposit. Then when you click on deposit, observe that the cash link is active. So what you will see is fiat currency symbols. You can see a United Arab Emirates, Australian dollar and stuff like that. So take it to what crypto now you're on cryptocurrency so now you want let's assume that you want to um receive bitcoin okay from someone and um someone asks you to send your bitcoin wallet address so what will you do you go on search then when you click on search you will search the cryptocurrency symbol for Bitcoin, which is BTC. Okay, so you can see it here BTC Bitcoin. You click on it now. When you click on it, it says choose a network. So, whenever someone wants to send you a cryptocurrency, you should also ask the person the network that he wants to use to send the cryptocurrency across to you. For now, BTC we have different networks, we have BNB smart chain. Bitcoin, BNB Bitcoin chain, BTC and what Ethereum. So when you are sending your wallet address to someone, do ask the person which network or which blockchain he wants to use to send it across to you. Okay. So take for example, you want to send um, your BNB smart chain Bitcoin wallet to the person you choose this first one here. Okay. So now you can see a barcode. And down here you can see your wallet address and you can see the network bnb smart chain bep 20. this is your wallet address all you need to do is to what copy this wallet address and send it across to the person okay so let's assume the person want to send the btc to you using a bnb beacon chain bep 2. now you see that for you to use this particular um wallet address to receive bitcoin you will need to send your wallet address plus your btc memo you can see it here it's written on red please enter both memo and address data which are required to deposit bep2 btc b token to your binance account so depending on the network through which the person want to send the btc to you that will determine the wallet address you will send okay 
Now let's check on Ethereum, which is ETH. Okay, here. Now you see the different networks that support Ethereum. You see BNB Smart Chain 2, Ethereum ERC20, Arbitrum 1, BNB Bitcoin Chain, Optimism. So choose any of these. Let's assume you want to choose um, BNB Smart Chain. Click on it, copy your wallet address, and send across to the person. As simple as that, okay? So let's assume the person wants to send um, Tether. That is USDT. That is a cryptocurrency symbol here. Okay. Now you see the network that supported that. Is it Tron here? Tezos, Solana, Polygon. These are different networks. So um, someone might like to send you um, BTC through a Tron network. Okay. So all you do is click on what? Tron. Then copy this address and send across to the person. So if the person is sending through drone and um, you copy down BNB smart chain to the person, in fact, it will not go through. Even if it does go through, it will not reflect on your Binance account. That means you must have lost your cryptocurrency. So when you're sending your wallet address to someone, do ask the person the network or blockchain through which you want to send the cryptocurrency across to you. So as simple as that.